Hey guys, what's going on? So, this is kind of a follow up video to the Modern Warfare 2 versus Black Ops 3 video. And this is going to be some similarities between the original Black Ops and I guess somewhat Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3, so the trilogy there. And this is mostly just Black Ops 1. And I've been playing a lot of that because it's a lot better game than this one is, to, in my opinion. And I will continue to say that for a long time because how many problems have been having this game recently? We're not getting into that though. That's a different video. But I kind of just uh, went snooping around a little bit and just kind of like testing out the guns and Black Ops 1 and having a lot of fun because, you know, that game, that game was actually pretty decent. And I'm like, huh, I wonder if there's any, game, any guns that are kind of similar in Black Ops 3. So here we are now because you know what why not we're facing bots again because you know what this would be really hard to do in a regular multiplayer match the reason why i'm saying that is because holy fucking shit people in that game just try their asses off anyway but so first off we have the commando if you remember that from black ops 1 it was a pretty good gun so i think so we have the icr with just high caliber it's pretty decent i actually really like it um, ICR is one of those guns where you really don't see it used a lot by people, and, you know, it is a decent gun. It does remind me a lot of the Canada look and feel-wise. Um, there's not a lot of backing up. I don't have pictures for all these because I don't have Black Ops 1 on PC. Modern Warfare 2 I did, so, you know, that was a little bit different story. I could record Modern Warfare 2 and just put that on the screen right now, but I don't have it, and I might just take screenshots or something of the stats, but those might be hard to find because, you know, why not? So, yeah, the ICR. Similar to the Commando, like I said, it's not exactly the same gun, but it's similar. Next is the Galil. Yes, you know that AK I said in the last video? Yeah, well, I kind of changed it to the Galil now, because it actually does the same amount of damage. Like, with nothing on it. It does the same amount of damage, which is three, um, what was it, like, three to four hits, and it kills them. And with the extended mag, it, like, you might say, oh, that doesn't look like the Galil. Yeah, a lot of these guns don't look like the original guns from Black Ops, but, you know... Stats kind of prove that wrong. This one's mostly based off stats. The other one's kind of based off looks more or less. So, yeah, we have this. I put it in all black. The sights and everything are very similar to the Galil. The shooting style of it entirely is very similar to the Galil and how much damage it does. And a lot of things are very similar to it. Which is why I like the Canon 44. That I wondered why I liked it so much. And I'm like, oh, hey, this is basically the Galil. Sweet. So, yeah, if you actually really like the Galil, just use the Canon 44. It is probably the closest thing you'll get to the Galil in any com in any Black Ops unless they fucking add it for some stupid reason now. And I'll just be like, well, shit. I guess that is not the Galil anymore. But, yeah. I don't know. I think that's what they took away, like, whatever the fuck name they had for this before, which is like the AK thing. So, yeah. This is an AK. It's basically the Galil. Next we have is the Havoc 30. If you can say that. I don't know. HVK 30 or the Havoc 30. I just call it the Havoc 30. You might be like, this does not look anything like the FAMAS. Like I said, it doesn't have to look like it. It does a lot of the same stats, though. Magazine size and everything. It, like, a lot of these don't have attachments just because. The next one does. Just be, That's just the attachments I like running with it. And we're going to be swapping these out throughout the game mode. We might be playing a couple different matches. Probably just one match, though, because I don't feel like sitting here for two hours recording matches for this stupid shit. But, yeah. Feel wise, not really like the uh, like the Famas from Black Ops One. We also are talking about not from Modern Warfare Three, where it's a burst fire. From Black Ops One, where it wasn't burst fire and it was really fucking good. So yeah, this reminds me a little bit of that. Not a ton, but I don't know. It does have a similar feel to it, and same. Um, it has a very similar clip size. Very similar. Um, I wouldn't say sights really, but I don't really touch the glow a lot in Black Ops One. I might touch a little bit more, but yeah. And now we're going on to Black Ops 2, and we have the VMP. The VMP is a very quick-firing gun, which I think is kind of, yeah. I think we all figured this out by now. For this, I have, this is the stuff I liked running with it on Black Ops 2. I very rarely ran sights, just because I really like the sights. And the sights are open on this, as you can, um, you'll see in the video later on. But sights are very open, like they were in Black Ops 2 for the um, MP7. I had a stock on it. All right, this is stock. Fuck. Um, quick draw. I never really ran fast mags, but I just put it on this one just because the 
Um, that'd be something to have, like, to reload really quickly, as this one doesn't reload quite as quickly. So, you know, they just put that on there. And then Long Barrel, because, you know, that's what I also ran in Black Ops 3, or 2. Jesus Christ, numbers are hard. And then this is just my messing around quick scoping class. So, yeah. We're going to go into a match with these. We are going to be playing on Combine, because, you know what, why not? And then we are also going to be, we're going to try out each one of these, and I'll kind of explain my reasoning behind it. And, yeah. We're gonna start off with the commando because why not? So I don't know. I don't remember what the sights were on the commando. I really don't. I don't really use the commando in Black Ops. Okay, I guess we're not gonna shoot them people. I guess we're gonna lag a little bit too because you know it's not my computer if I don't lag. And you know why not? Uh, fuck it, we go there. Uh, yeah. So this gun does run me as a commando a little bit. Like I said, I didn't really use the commando, so I'm kind of just going off of statistics-wise, not really look-wise, like I said this before. Okay, you just chill there for a second, okay? But we're gonna switch. Oh my god, I can't do that. Ugh. There, choose class, and then we'll change the glue. I don't see it out there. Spotter down. Um, so yeah. yeah. Okay, now we're going with the glue. With, we just, like, like I said, the only reason why I put extended mags on this fucking gun is not that it makes it look, it just makes it look more like the glue, which I like. I like all black, red, and fucking black and orange. I was trying to, um,. Damn it. But, um, is somebody spawning there? Oh, might have. I don't know. God damn, I'm not really good with things. Okay. So, we'll go like this. Do, 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 do. Someone with you there. Yep. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. Christ, man. Just go to the fucking FAMAS before I just start kicking people's shit in with this. Wasted. Yep. Ready for this is going way too much. Yep, like this gun way too much. <laughs> Killed that camper. Hailstorm yep, this is what we're doing. We are gonna rock. Killed that camper. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're just gonna be doing this, I guess, for five minutes. As you can tell, this gun is pretty decent by its fucking self. With no attachments except for extended mags. Okay then, I guess we're done with the Galil. Because I am ran out of bullets. Um, I'm not going to use the score streak, so I just, yeah. Um, okay then, I can't really die because I don't have, oh wait, we can just go like this, can't we? Okay, that works. Okay, FAMAS, why not? Where the fuck do they go? What? Why not, I guess? Okay, then, or not. <laughs> Oh my god, this gun has no recoil. I just realized this. Like, this gun's recoil is nothing without... Oh my god. Somebody else noticed the no recoil on this gun? 
I've not ever noticed that there was no recoil whatsoever on this goddamn gun. Okay, maybe there's a little bit of recoil. Not much, though. Okay. And now, okay, now we're gonna use this a little bit more. How many am I on? 18? Okay. I have I have a little bit to go. I can at least get to 20 with this thing, and then we can just switch to the MP7. Right? Something like that. Okay, there you go. MP7 it is. Okay, as you can see about the sights, this is what I'm talking about. The sights are very open, and I really like it. Badass Megs on this gun is fucking insane, by the way. And you know what, we might use the UAV. Deploy UAV. Oh my god, what the fuck am I doing? Oh my god, that would've been fucking insane if I would've got that. Okay, good thing I didn't. Okay, and I can't see shit there. Okay. Okay, yeah, so... Oh, damn it. Oh no. Also, something I also realized with the game, hardened bots are really not that hard to deal with. Like, look at that. I really game, fucking hardened bots would be on your ass Target. so hard. Okay. Well, there's that, I guess. Could go cheap and fucking terrible. Damn it. Well, there's gonna be a really shitty ending to this, but. So, yeah, those are basically the guns that remind me of the other guns from Black Ops and Black Ops 2. So, the Galil is the KN44, whatever the fuck that gun is. The FAMAS is the. Er, yeah, the FAMAS is the Havoc. The MP7 is the uh, Vesper. No, VMP. That's it. Jesus Christ. Well, I guess it does have MP in the name. That might. Okay. I never realized that. Okay. But we'll just show off those classes one more time. And that will probably be the end of the video. Because. I don't even know who I'm talking to. Wow, I got a lot of kills. <laughs> so yeah, these are the classes that I used. If you didn't pay attention in the beginning, you can now. So the commando, just with high caliber and nothing else. Or the ICR, I mean, not the commando. But yeah, ICR with high caliber does slightly more damage. If you want, you can check out the fucking specs right there. But with this, it does that much damage. So it only adds two to it. It's not a lot, but you know, whatever. Um, the KN44 reminds me a lot of the Galil. Nothing changes. I This doesn't do anything except for make your mags a lot um, longer. As you can see from the video, how well this gun fucking did just without any attachments. So everybody using those fucking attachments like, oh, it needs these. No, it doesn't. This gun is really good by itself. So just use it like it's, it's a, like, like it's default. Because it's actually really good like that. Just add a fucking extended mag to it and you're good. It doesn't need everything on it. If you like the Galil, you'll probably like this gun. All I have to say about that. Havoc 30. I have nothing on this gun. And I thought this gun had no recoil. 
Like, oh my god. It is basically the Hamas from Black Ops now that I realize that. Because, like, if you guys remember from Black Ops, if you played it when it first came out, there was no recoil, recoil whatsoever in the Hamas, and it was really OP. This gun is pretty up there with the, the OP, and, yeah, with being OP. But, and if you remember from the other video, I said this was more like the Hamas. No, this one really is. Fire rate is fucking insane, and the, like I said, it's, it's insane on both these guns, but yeah. This is more stat-wise, this was more look-wise. And I just like this camo, because why not? And then, of course, the VMP. Reminds me a lot of the MP7. I have these attachments on it. I have stock, quick draw, fast mags, and long barrel. Really beast gun... I don't know why more people don't really use this gun. More people use the Vesper now just because it's really good and everything, but I don't know. If I was to make any class, it'd probably be like these four and all of them just because. Actually, I'll show you my. Oh, never mind. I don't, no, you guys don't care about that. But, but yeah, so this is, if you guys want to make a Black Ops 1 class, or, or yeah, I guess. I don't know. This one can be. If you guys like the MP7, I would say make this class. It's actually really good. You don't really have room for anything. The perks didn't really matter. These are just the perks I used. It doesn't matter. But if you guys really want like a Black Ops 1 class and Black Ops 2 class, easily VMP would be the MP7 from Black Ops 2. And the FAMAS, you can... I don't know if you guys will agree with it or not. I, I don't know. It's very similar, but if you guys like the FAMAS from Black Ops 1, I'll probably just say use the Havoc. Galil, if you guys like the Galil from Black Ops 1, use the KN44. If you really like the Galil and like how it was where you only have like one attachment, I'll just say put Lone Barrel or Fast Mags. Which I think I can put Fast Mags on it as well. Yeah, Fast Mags would make this thing fucking insane, so. I'm pretty sure I rocked Fast Mags, but could be wrong. But yeah, really good gun. I don't know why people put like 30 attachments on it, because I was playing free a free-for-all match when I first made this class on multiplayer. And I came in second, I joined late. Like, I joined like halfway in the game and still came in second with like 28 and like 4. So yeah. <laughs> Whoever wants to say this gun is really bad by itself, no it's not, it's actually really good. And the commando, if you guys liked using the commando, I'd say probably use the ICR. It's probably the closest thing you'll, you'll get from Black Ops 3 to compare to Black Ops 1. The ICR with high caliber. You can probably add tons of other bullshit, but you know, I just said that we'll do it because I was mostly basing off of like just plain stats, and this gun didn't do a lot of damage, so I just put the uh, high caliber on it, and it seemed to be just fine. So yeah, but you guys like the if you guys agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. If you guys like the video, want me to continue doing more random shit like this, comparing guns. Leave a like on the video. If you guys want to see me what game to compare next with Call of Duty, with Black Ops 3 and something else, let me know. And what guns, because I will look into it. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again next time. Take care, everybody. Peace.